what's up YouTube today I am back with a room tour for you guys I'd like to start off by saying happy new year this is my first video of 2018 and I'm so excited to see what this year brings I thought it'd be cool to do a room tour for you guys today because I am so happy with how my room looks right now I've been decorating it and working on it for a very long time and I'm just overly proud of how it is right now and I thought it'd be cool if I gave you guys some decorating tips, show you where I got stuff. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. And with that, let's get right into the video. To start off, I'm just giving you guys a little brief overview of my room and what it looks like and everything in it. As you can see, it's not the biggest room, which is completely fine. I kind of like actually having a small room. By the way, I am also filming on my phone today because of a whole story I'm not going to explain right now, but yeah. I'm going to show you guys my vanity, I guess you could call it, and everything that I have there. So let's start off right here at this wonderful unit from Ikea that I'd like to say almost every beauty YouTuber has, but I can see why. It's really awesome for space. I store my makeup in here and a lot of other miscellaneous items. It's not full of makeup, like I don't have that much, but it's where I store everything I use. And then up here I just have some of my lipsticks, the rest are down in one of the drawers. And right here I have this book of Georgia O'Keeffe postcards called Abstraction. She's one of my favorite artists. She does a lot of impressionistic and like flower pieces. This is one of my favorite pieces by her. And then I have here this wonderful little light up sign. It's usually off, but I'll turn it on for now. It says Girl Almighty, which is a One Direction song, one of my favorites gotta have them at least somewhere in my room and this I got at Winners as well I got these little lipstick stands from Winners and they were super cheap I love Winners it's awesome for decorating honestly you'll find a lot of my stuff in here is from there so the sign comes with a cord which you can tap to a USB adapter kind of like the thing at the end of your iPhone charger or you can just insert batteries which is what I have in it right now so it doesn't need a cord this is one of my jewelry holders, which I got from Urban Outfitters. The packaging actually says it's supposed to be a bird, which I guess I can see the spread wingspan and stuff, but I didn't know that actually until after I bought it. I just thought it looked cool, but yeah. So there's some of my chokers, lots of cool stuff, my 1975 necklace. I've kind of attempted to sort everything by color, but yeah. A lot of these are from different places. If you have any comments or questions or you like any of them below, just ask me and I'll tell you where I got it from. Hi again! Now I'm going to be showing you the main part of my vanity, which I have this nice pink rug down here, which I got at Ikea, along with this stool is also from Ikea. And then this shelf and mirror unit we actually put together ourselves. I enjoy the simplicity of it and I like how it doesn't have drawers like below it so I have room for the stool and stuff. And then on here I have another rose gold jewelry holder which I got at Urban Outfitters which just has a lot of my earrings and rings and all my Alex and Ani bracelets. And then I have this little fairy statue that my mom gave to me, not sure where she got it. And then of course I have my One Direction Between Us perfume. I love this one, especially the look of it, because it's super sleek and looks super expensive and nice. I just love it and the smell is awesome, would definitely recommend. And then I have my Fresh Sugar Lip Caramel Hydrating Balm. This is like a little sample size I got for free with one of my Sephora orders. And it's actually amazing. It reminds me the smell of this one Lush lip balm, like the chocolate one if you've ever had it. Then I just have this little jar of buttons and a nice little jar of rose petals. I got both of these jars actually at Brandy Melville. One time I was there on Boxing Day, I believe. And they were selling like some of the little accessories of the store for some reason so i got these each for like around like i don't know like two or three bucks but this one actually came with the buttons in it that's from an actual rose that i had next i'm going to be showing you this dresser and along with the accessories i have on top of it 
So first I'll show you, this is my record player. I absolutely love it. Which I actually got this for one of my birthdays and I absolutely love it. It's from Urban Outfitters and it's light pink. I absolutely love it. Then on top of it, I have this book which came with Harry Styles' album. Absolutely amazing album. I would strongly recommend. And I thought I'd show you guys my record player in action. Right now I have Disappear Here by Bad Sons playing. Love this album so much. You can see it's pretty good. Basic has different volume, has different volume settings and speed settings. Yeah, and good music. Awesome. I actually got this album from a friend as well. Shout out to you. Um, I don't store my vinyls in my room, so I'm not going to show you those today, but maybe in the future if you want to see a vinyl collection video, I think that'd be awesome. I own a lot, so let me know down below if you'd like to see that. Here I just have this money tree, which I've actually had since 2015. I'm actually proud of myself that I've been able to keep it alive for this long, but I love it. And then I have this dead rose in which the remnants of the rest of it are in that little jar down there. I don't know why I've kept it. It's not really a special rose or anything. Well, all plants are special, but you know what I mean. And then right here, I have this other jewelry holder. So this jewelry holder I got at Umbra, it kind of opens like that. I just have a few of my other pieces of jewelry in there. I kind of keep more like bracelets or chains and stuff. And then back here, I have this Valentino perfume, which was actually my present for graduating grade eight. I still have the box because I just think it's adorable. And it also reminds me of the 1975, who I'm also a huge fan of. And here we have the Between Us perfume box, which I just showed you over on the vanity. Again, would strongly recommend. Now I'm going to show you what is up on my shelves. So for the first shelf, I have this nice hanging plant, which is just on a hook fastened to the ceiling. It's a nice little moss terrarium, which I got at a local greenhouse. It's adorable. I've actually had that for over a year now. And then I have this nice little light, which I got at Marshall's, I believe, or HomeSense. One of those stores again. Probably already know I am a huge fan of fashion, so I put this bag from my first Gucci purse in this frame and I'm in love with it. Gucci is one of my favorites, so I thought this would just make a really cute statement piece for my room. And then next to it, I have this little succulent, which I got last year from the same local greenhouse that I got the moss from. And then right here, I have another, I think this is bamboo plant, which is awesome. I got it for my birthday from one of my friends. Shout out to her. I got these for my birthday from my mom too. They're these little candles, which she said are supposed to be succulents, which I guess I can see. I kind of think they look more like cabbage or something, but they're really cute and I have them up here. And beside that, I have this little crystal, which I got as a present for my birthday as well. And then of course, I have my picture with Shawn Mendes framed in this photo frame. And this frame I got from Umbra. They have a lot of really cute home accessories and they're not overly expensive. So I would definitely check out Umbra if you're interested in something like this. These frames actually come in like a ton of different sizes and colors and I love it because it also matches this little candle holder which I have. I got that from Winners as well. Okay, so now on to my bed area. I have this little side table which is actually like a laptop holder I think which is from Ikea. I like it because it's small and doesn't take up too much space and I have this little lamp which is really cool. It's like touch and it has like three different modes. And then I just have this little alarm clock, which I got at Walmart like a really long time ago, so I don't think they sell it anymore. And then of course, I usually have like a drink or something sitting on here right now. I have an iced coffee, coincidentally, from Tim Hortons, which I switched into my Starbucks cup because I needed to add soy milk to it. 
Then onto my actual bed, I just have this plain white duvet, which I'm sorry for all the wrinkles. I honestly don't, can you even iron duvets? I don't know. I don't have a cover on it though, which I should probably get one. And then I have these three pillows, which are adorable. I got this leaf one from Walmart, actually. I saw it there and I was like, oh my god, because of course I love plants and it was such a steal. And then I got this big, fluffy, round gray one, which is awesome for leaning against if I'm like reading or watching videos up here on my bed, which is great. I got this from Winners once again. And then this nice pink, furry one. This one is also from Winners, what a surprise. And then I have these nice marble bed sheets, which I believe are from Winners as well. I really like them. They're also like flannel, so they're super warm for winter time. And then I have these nice patterned pillowcases on my pillows. I think these are either from Yisk or Bed Bath & Beyond. I forget which one, but they're pretty cheap, a good deal. And then right here above my door, I have this sign from Brandy Melville that says plants are friends. I actually wanted one of these for like so long and I finally got one last year since they literally are always sold out of this one. So I was very, very happy when I finally got it. Lastly, I'm going to show you guys my full length mirror. While we're here, why don't I give you a quick outfit of the day? Sure. So I have this nice little cropped white tee, which I got online from Misguided, and these cute little striped pants, which I have rolled up at the end, and these are from Brandy Melville. And then I also, it's tucked in now, but this nice little necklace as well from Brandy Melville. Super cute, just a simple, nice Sunday outfit. But now back to the mirror. This mirror is actually quite old. But just recently, in 2016, I got this trim put on it so that it looked nice and had a cute accent of gold since I try to have most of my accents in my room as gold because I'm more of a gold than silver person, but I like both. That's it for my room tour. I hope you enjoyed my video. Once again, Happy New Year. Leave a thumbs up down below if you like the video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. And comment down below if you have any video suggestions for me to do next. I love getting recommendations from people and suggestions are welcome. And with that, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!